hopefully I can laugh about this one day. So about two and a half weeks ago, I was driving from Nashville, which is where I live, to South Dakota, which is where my band is based out of, and we rehearse there before we go on tour. It's about a 14 hour drive. That morning, I started making a video about the struggle of being an artist and finances and helping each other out. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say other than like, if you're struggling, like I relate with you and you can, you can talk to me, we can like struggle together. Life really is awesome. Like I have such an amazing family. My car's rattling. There we go. Seatbelt kids. So I was going through my day trying to make a video to encourage other people because honestly, I was in a place of total discouragement. I just moved to Nashville about two months ago and it's been really hard to transition here. And I was thinking maybe if I made a video trying to use that to encourage people, it would also help me. So that was the goal of that day. It didn't go as planned. At all. During about the last hour and a half of the drive, I stopped to get gas. Don't zoom in to read my card number. Tried to do like a really cool little time lapse thing on top of my car. And then started driving again and just like a little over an hour away from my destination, um, I got into an accident. Can't see anything, but I was just in a car accident. I just rolled my car. It's hard to even call it an accident because it was completely my fault. I hate making mistakes, but I did. And I want to be honest with you guys. I had a video playing on my phone and I was watching this video for a couple seconds too long. And when I looked up, I was missing an exit. I, I tried to make the exit. When I tried to correct back to the right, uh, my car started spinning. I just remember seeing the ditch and hearing my tires squealing and just thinking like, okay, like in a couple seconds, I'm either gonna open my eyes or I'm gonna be gone. I just, I think I just flipped it over once and it just landed on the top part of the car. Found my phone, my glasses had flown off so I couldn't see anything. There was a little like space that I had to like stick my head through and crawl out through where the driver's side window used to be. When I got out, there were already people there um, calling the fire department and the, the police, which was great. I had let myself get distracted enough to roll my car in a, in a time where I am financially not secure, put my family's well-being at risk and, and Lauren and all my friends that care about me. I came out with some abrasions on my back, some some abrasions on my head, um, so I was bloody on my face. I took a selfie. <laughs> I had to remember it um, to look back on and remember how much of an idiot I was. The policewoman um, dropped me off at a truck stop and I just sat at this truck stop and contemplated what had happened. So yeah, this freaking sucks. It's so funny that I was talking about the struggle with like money. I'm really freaking pissed at myself. That's all my stuff. I am glad to be alive and I'm thankful that I have awesome friends and family and uh, how do I how do I finish this? So in this accident I obviously lost my car. I lost a lot of miscellaneous camera gear like lighting stuff and microphone stuff, random things like monopods. Some people have already like donated money to me to, to replace that and I appreciate that so much and I, I don't deserve that. But I did want to do some sort of fundraiser. My Good friends at Relentless Merch, they, pr they print all of my band's merch. Um, they designed a shirt for me, and um, this is what the design looks like. The famous Zach Mayfield flip -a -rama. I don't know, I love this design because I try to have joy um, among the darkness in, our, in my life, and that's what I feel like this shirt is. I'm doing a pre-order for these shirts, and there's a deadline, which I don't know right now because I don't have my phone on me. God bless. Um, so I'll put the phone, or the deadline, date on the screen yeah if you want to support in any way the shirt is the best way to do it because you get something in return too that's that's fun and it helps me out a little bit which i appreciate so much but the main point of this whole video is get off your phone while you're in the car like you can't look at your phone and drive safely at the same time you can go back and forth and try your best but it could come down to a split second decision and that one second you're on your phone could make the difference of whether you go home to your loved ones or not for the very least like don't do that to them I, if you're new to this channel for some reason you're still watching this video um 
I don't usually do videos like this because I don't usually wreck cars. There will be another video because I'm still alive and I'm thankful for that. So we'll see you in that next video. God bless the broken road!